What are the general things you're looking for when you first hear a pitch? I guess I don't try to think of it as like a pitch receiving kind of relationship. I, I want to have a conversation if it's in person. If you're ever, if you're in a meeting where you're talking to an investor and, and you're there dominating a conversation, it's probably not a good thing. You want to have a conversation. It is not, I'm going to say, yell, 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 or I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, like if, if, if it feels like you're forcing something, it's not a good, not a good situation. Rather that you guys are having this like conversation where you're both discovering something that is in line, much closer in line with something that is, feels like a good pitch. I'm wearing the founder hat. You have to guide the conversation. So you're, you're, you're basically trying to, you know, like breadcrumb them to like your conclusions. So they, they, you know, they naturally feel like, oh, this is like a walk in the park. And then, but you're really guiding them towards a pre set conclusion. You're not, you haven't forced them, you haven't dragged them to that scenario. And they've been engaged where they're just not kind of checked out and you're just saying the conclusion and then it just washes over them. In an ideal scenario, I know I'm getting a coffee or an interview. I'm going to do that work in advance. And I'm going to think of, you know, I'm going to be prepped. My, I'm, going to, I'm going to have questions in my head ready to go. So going to sit down, it's a productive conversation. I let my curiosity, uh, you know, drive some of that conversation. Um, I personally, you know, it just may be different than other folks. Um, I will, I'm very transparent about what I don't agree with in the assumptions or in the path that the entrepreneur is taking. And, and, and this really helps having built stuff myself is I can say, oh, well, I, you know, I had this decision to make and I chose a different path. Why, why are you just choosing this path? Those answers are very informing. If they don't have an interesting answer or logic, it, it, you know, I want to make sure that it's clear that the answer is not the point. How you say what you say is not the point. The point is what you say. And so if their logic is like robust, then I'm like, oh, well, actually, I didn't think of that. And I agree with this assessment. I think, I think you, you want to learn something, uh, and that's hard to do because we look at a lot of companies, so to learn something brand new about a space is, is difficult. So they have to have a real insight, and a good place to start that insight is, I worked in oil and gas for 10 years, and I can tell you, this is the software we use, and nobody knows, but now suddenly, you know, these remote oil rigs have Wi-Fi connections, or have, have you know, have 3G connections or whatever. And they're like, oh, suddenly a new market emerged, and you were the first to see it because, you know, you were there. So you want to leave that conversation like, that's interesting. That was fascinating, intellectually fascinating, emotionally engaging, and you know, up like a real professional possibility that could be a business there. All that can, I bet you, you know, if you ask most investors, they would just say, you know, I get excited about the entrepreneur. And I think that's what they mean. They, the lower level is some versions of that. I'm, I learned something, I'm excited. One barometer, I feel like it was an opportunity to talk to that person.